the power. This back. What is up, family? It's Too Cool TB from Powered by Vibes. And we're here with some more artist discovery. So, for those of you who are new here or those of you who forgot, Powered by Vibes, this is a project started this year to bring some more light to musicians in your local music scene and DIY musicians online. And to get you all out and checking out your local musicians that are making their own original music as well as listening to the DIY artists online. As I've learned with this series, there's a lot of talent out there that just goes underappreciated. And with that being said, today we're gonna check out an artist called Sky, and we're gonna pick out this track, You Own Me. Problem, there's no bio here. I couldn't find any links to one, and I was having some trouble locating the artist on Spotify as well. Can definitely tell this is a DIY level artist. The reason is why the song titles are written in um, lower lowercase letters. And yeah, the problem here, I want to give you more of a shout out, but I just, I can't find any information. So that's a quick tip for any of you guys who are making your own music. Please make sure that you do that. Make it so that you can be easily found. And if you post something online, make it so that there's some sort of tie back to you. I mean, honestly, if you have to, like, just straight up put your Instagram handle in the album artwork when you're uploading it through all these different distribution platforms. <laughs> you know what I mean? And also, it's a good idea to have somewhere some social media that has whatever the same name is of your uh, band or your, your artist name. All right, so enough of that. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Word. Word. Very simple instrumental, as you can hear. We just got a little, a little slow pianos going, percussion. Nice and smooth too. See, this is a problem. Like I have good suggestions right now. Like I don't really have a lot to comment on as the song is going. It's not like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't really have a lot of stuff happening here. I got something I could comment on. I got something. So if you listen to this, something that's interesting, the, the vocals are actually auto-tuned. An interesting auto-tune effect, you know. I'm trying to decide like the auto-tune effect though. Just by the actual overall vocal quality and whatnot, and like by the fact that like the auto tune is 
snapping to the right places. Like I don't feel like this is like a necessity. I think this is an artistic choice. Let's use the auto tune. Word, word, remix, remix, song remixing itself. I like this. This definitely got like a like throwback, like the like 2008 like Trey songs beat. You know what I mean? So right here, she bringing it down a little bit. Word, word, yeah, yeah, freestyle, you know what I'm saying, we coming through, it's true, we already know, we trying to go, pull up in the, yo, baller. I promise I like this song. That's, I'm not being low energy because I don't like this song. All right, that's enough of that. You know what I'm saying? I promise I'm not being low energy because I don't like this song. It's just I don't have much to say about it. All right. So, as you could hear, it's a little simple R&B song. Auto-tune over the vocals. Nice little beat. Just some piano in there, and then the drums came in a little bit. It's a little, just a little simple kick pattern. That's all. Had the little like saw synths come in with a little LFO effect on there. I like that. Usher love in this club type of stuff going on there. I like that. Lyricism, typical R and B lyricism. Wasn't really anything that groundbreaking with the lyrics, but I liked it. So, critique session. The critiques that I have for the music, I'm torn on the auto tune. I don't know how necessary that it was and as an artistic statement. It wasn't really aggressive enough to be artistic. It's just like the auto tune was there and it didn't really add anything. And I don't think it would have taken anything away if you took the auto tune off. The other thing with the beat that I'm going to criticize. The beat sounded kind of generic. It does sound like you just put in like Trey Songz type beat on YouTube. You know what I mean? I, I try not to be mean or because so, I'm definitely, that's not me. I'm not mean. I give constructive feedback. I don't roast, I promise. Watch any video. I'm always very rah, 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 like love, power to the people. The tie dye and flowers is our thing here. The smiley face with the headphones is our thing here. This is a happy channel. So, but that's but that's my comment on this. So this is something for all of you DIY artists out there. If you don't know how to make beats, you don't know how to make music, find somebody who does, and it goes a long way to sit down in the same room with the people who are gonna produce the song and make the beat. So that you can work on it together and they can have that input artistically in the beat. So that what they're producing they go underneath your lyrics, it goes with what you're going to sing. So it sounds more unique. So that's what my opinion is on, on the instrumental. And really, that's all there is to say about this one. You know, it's a pretty simple song. You know, there was too much going on. You know, this wasn't Yeezus. You know what I mean? Like, all right, so let's get more fancy than saying Yeezus. How about this wasn't a Brian Eno project? I threw that one at you. I didn't think I knew about Brian Eno. I bet y'all didn't know I knew that one. Alright, so now it's time to take it to the beautiful chart. And we're gonna see how I'm gonna rank this one. Don't worry, Sky, I got your back. I got your back. I'm gonna put you on the billboard chart. You know, I know I was a little bit upset over the whole, you know, I couldn't find any information about you thing, but that's okay. I'm gonna bury the hatch now, so I'm gonna put you on the billboard chart. So, hmm. I do like this one. I would say if I were to move this up the chart, it's somewhere in this range. I'm gonna actually stick it at number 29, the Billboard chart. So I always say the Billboard chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song. 
This is a chart of recommendations that will be published at the end of the year. And this is put in the order based on what I think will be the most popular when recommended to others. So that's how this chart works. Not a reflection of the quality, just what I think would be the most popular. Rationale behind why it's number 29. Let's break it down. Songs is right below and songs right be above. It's right below Faith Wayne, Off White. I put it right below that song because I felt like Off White, it just was a little bit more unique. Um, it was another very simple song like this. It was like more, it just was the guitar, a little bit of production over it and just the vocals. But I felt like that one lyrically, the artist was trying to say more to me. And you know, I just felt like with this one, there was just a lot of vocal ad-libbing just to kind of fill space in the beat, which is why I meant by that. It sounds like you just Google Trey Songs type beat or whatever. And not dissing. I know, I know I'm sounding really harsh. I apologize. I'm not trying to be harsh. But I'm just saying that's the difference between that and this one. And I put it right above 404 Landon Sugetsu. Or however you pronounce that. I don't watch anime. I'm not like these other kids. That's <laughs> but yeah, the 404 faction. I felt like Sugetsu or whatever. That song was cool. But this one I would put it just above it. Just because... I was gonna be honest, like these, both of those songs, like I just didn't get anything from it, you know? Like, usually when I listen to like Off White, you know, like any of the other ones above it, like I felt something, it, it brought some emotion out with me. Like, both of these songs, I just kind of felt dead inside, like even more so than usual. Like, I just felt like a zombie. I felt, I felt depressed. These songs gave me depression because I was just. I felt so empty and meaningless in life listening to those two songs. So that's the reason why I kind of bumped them together. This one is slightly better than 404 Landon Sugetsu just because I feel like those guys, like the rapping over that beat, it was just too, it made me want to fall asleep. This one made me want to fall asleep too, but it, it, it at least made me want to fall asleep to like some good singing or instead of just like some kids from New York City just trying to rap, you know what I mean? Great. Now I'm going to have both of these people coming at me. Landon and <laughs> Sky <laughs> is going to be coming after me now. But like I said, I promise. I like the music. This is just my rationale of how I ranked it. And I think other people would perceive it. I don't think people would like these as much as they would some of the other songs. Some of the other songs just have a little bit more emotion. They're a little bit more fun to listen to than these ones were. All right, so that's enough of me hating on the song i apologize i'm not hating on it i like it and i think you're doing a great job keep up the good work just that to my beautiful face just two pieces of advice for sky and please i hope that you check in because i legitimately want to get to know you and find out more about you so please i hope that if you watch this you check in in the comments below and let me know who you are and how i can find your information how I can find maybe some of your newer projects because I can definitely tell that there's something here. This has legs. And uh, it just needs a little bit more improvement. That's all. So that's the, the things I would say to improve this one for your next track. Maybe get a little bit more unique sounding instrumental. Maybe per perhaps find somebody to work with. I will work with you. I put out an initiative to help any female artists. I don't have much power to do things now. But I produce. I mix. You need me to make you an instrumental, I can make you an instrumental. I'm very happy to hop on a Zoom call with you to talk about what the song concept is and come up with an instrumental together. I can mix for you. And I don't charge for my work anymore. The reason why is because to me it's more important to build a relationship with someone and make something together than it is for me to just get paid at this point in my life. Like I, that's, that's to the point in my life and music career I am. I don't really care about getting paid for what I do. I just want to build a connection with somebody and build something together. So definitely hit me up if you want any help and advice. Listen to my music over on the uh, Professor T Band official channel. And you can hear the type of production I've done. Or check out some of my best and worst beats videos that's on this channel. So second thing that I would say that you need to do for, before the next one 
definitely fix this issue of making it hard to find you. So maybe make a more unique name or just literally in the album art, put your Instagram handle or something right there in the album art. So have it somewhere where it's easy to find you and definitely have a bio somewhere that, you know, we can learn a little bit about you. So that's my comments for this. Great song, great job. I love the singing. You have a great sounding voice. And uh, I think this has a lot of potential. And I can't wait to hear the next one. You know, maybe you'll take some of my feedback. Maybe we'll make something together. Or maybe you'll just, like, send me death threats. It doesn't really matter. So, with all that being said, to Sky, to all the people rocking in the free world, and to you watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, even though it made me feel dead inside. And I hope that all of you did too. The enjoyed listening part, not the feeling dead inside part. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, especially you, Sky. I apologize if I'm harsh, but I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm in a bad mood. Maybe I need to go eat. And I will see you in the next review. The power is back.